go to sing. A revolutionary. A mercenary. A renegade. A vigilante. An anarchist. A protagonist. An anti-hero. An antidote. An anti-establishmentarianist. An innovator. An integrator. A daredevil. A, a swashbuckler. A bushwhacker. An ultimate warrior. A deity. An idol. A messiah. Are just some of the words we found on thesaurus.com to describe Scooter Singh. Scooter Singh, a legendary figure in the underbelly of Southall's barn spit infested streets. The very source of hope for a town's search for justice and tolerance against the evils that demonize its soul. He is the clearasil to Southall's pus filled, acne ridden face. But who is Scooter Singh and what makes him tick? We've enlisted the help of some local celebrities to unravel the myth that is Scooter Singh and how he's touched people in their special place. Scooter Singh, where did I meet him? It was a Sunday afternoon and I was with my dad, typical Sunday afternoon. He goes, Charles, son, let's go south hall, let's get a few CDs and that. I said, okay, cool. So I went to south hall and all of a sudden I saw, I heard this roar. And it was a proper desi scooter and it reminded me, do you know what, when I went into India the previous year. I thought, hang on a minute, that sounds a bit familiar. So I looked around and the next thing I see is just a crowd. I mean, we're surrounded and singing. I see, do you know what, a bright bug and Sardar singing on a scooter. And I think, hang on a minute, what's going on there? I was walking down South of Broadway, so more so in one hand, gold cup in the other. I mean, I, you know, did my thing. It's going from a weekly shop. Suddenly, I felt a gust of wind, like you know, something just like, you know, up at the back of my neck, and I was like, I had chills, like really badly. And I was like, I turned, and I see this thing just go, shoo, like, um, this car on this bike. And what stood out for me, just his bug, his red bug. Yeah, it was like a beacon, calling me. It's like calling me, saying. Mints, look, look at me, look at me now. I, I will never forget the first time I saw Scooter Singh. Um, I was at McDonald's um, in South of Broadway and um, I came out with my burger and I remember my, my girlfriend dropped on the floor and um, he just rode over it, leaving a, a tire mark in my, in my gherkin and, and I was just so curious. I was just thinking, I wonder how it tastes. Um, so I put it back in my burger and, and, and I took a bite out of it and, and it tasted good. Well, the first time I ever come across him, you know, I was in my teens and I was dithering, not exactly sure what to do with my life until I saw these two guys on my television screen that just changed my thought process forever. PJ and Duncan. It was the first time I ever heard Let's Get Ready to Rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. Sorry. I was on South of Broadway and I was, i just come out of ABC Music, you know, stealing some ideas for some songs, you know, as most people do. And um, I saw this guy on a bike, a scooter. Yeah. Scooter Sing goes right past me, literally like an apparition, almost like a god on a motorcycle. I didn't quite know what was going on. I actually thought it was the end of the world, but it was actually just Scooter Singh doing his thing. I was in ABC Music, just um, I was gonna buy the new MC Special CD, and it was about 12.15 and my friend Gautam, who actually owns the store, he was like, bruv, sorry, I'm gonna have to tell you to go outside. It's 12.15, I have to close the store. I was like, why, 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 what's going on? He was just like, look, you'll just, you'll realize when you see this, it's 12.15, just get out. So literally he was just out there just waiting. I was like, what's going on? And all I saw was this scooter, bright red guy with a turban, just drive past. And literally I just flung the CD and I was gonna fling it anyway, but it just literally went straight in the bin somehow as soon as he went past. I was walking along minding my own business and it was a scene similar to that of Easy Rider with Dennis Hopper cruising out of the sunset. I saw this enigmatic charisma 
bounding towards me with his maroon turban. The only thing that was protecting me from his aura was the oversized windscreen on his scooter. And it was that moment that I realized that everything I've done in my life up until now has been a bit of a farce. And he helped guide me. I'm quite a talkative person usually, but words just failed me, you know? I, I looked at him and I kind of gurgled. I, I can't describe it. it just. It was just a gurgling sound. And he sort of looked in my direction, but you know there was too many, too many admiring fans, and I, you know, I just kind of faded into the background, and I, and that was it. I just, I just got lost in the crowd, and, and you know, outstretched arm. That's love. Yes, I said it. I love him. I love Scooter Singh, and I don't care who knows. I don't care. <laughs> don't care. It was Scooter Sing, and it it was the sound of the scooter, him and his red turban that kind of made me choose the colour red every time I go out. It made me record more scooter sounds, scooter volume one, scooter volume two. I mean, I'm obsessed with scooters, I'm obsessed with Scooter Sing and what he means to me. You know, I'm a big Amit the Butchin fan and just imagine this is Amit Abachan. This is Scooter Sing. I mean, you can see the difference. You know, we kind of came to each other and um, he said to me, use your logic, boy. Every day. Check it out and Sing sitting there arm on Scooter. I said, you know what, this is amazing. I said, I want this as well. So I sat there and I think, and I asked him, I said, Uncle, you see the Kumar Kartia? You know what I mean? I want the scooter as well. He's a Mundia, Tuni Mira scooter, Lasagada, but J famous Bana, Chungi Kamakar. And from there, I thought, you know what? What can I do good? And I looked at my dad and said, Dad, you know what? I want to be a singer. And then from there, man, so I still remember Mr. Singh, Scooter Singh was my biggest inspiration who gave me the thumbs up. Do you know what? If you can do something, do something good in life. He gives us, I've imported a scooter from India and I'm representing in London town. So, Scooter Singh, here. Yeah. And this, this thing came past me that came faster than the speed of light. I know because I went and checked and measured it later. But it was Scooter Singh and he was there right in front of me. So I had to put these massive pair of sunglasses on because his aura itself was enough to vaporise an entire city block. But, you know, he stood in front of me and he said those words that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Well, I couldn't understand a single word he said because I was Gujarati. But I knew enough in those little words that that would change my thinking and my whole thought process for the rest of my life. Scooter Singh. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. What a guy. I came across music production, you know, when I studied and I did my thing and, you know, I built the studio. And you know, it was all because of him. If he hadn't said that to me, use your logic every day. I won't be here. What can I say? I mean, Scooter Singh, man. Salute, man, salute. I'm get. So I get emotional. Sorry, can we, can we stop that there? But there's one thing about Scoot Singh that I admire the most. He always uses the same route. He never takes a, an alternative route. Even if there's roadworks, he will still use the same route. I don't know man, since that day I just wanted to be like him even now. I'm just trying to find the same scooter that he has. But I just found out it was a limited edition so I'm gonna just have to find one or just even make it just the same as him because this guy is just legendary. But I couldn't help but wonder, does this guy have a driving license? Because he would indicate right and turn left. And indicate left and turn right. And often not indicate at all. And even as an 11 year old boy, that really pissed me off. I mean, who the f does he think he is? What a c